What's up, people? Let me turn this away. It's kind of chilly. It's ch the air conditioning in this truck is on heat. I'm going to say that. Um, it's a straw. Iced tea. So I'm on my way to CA. Um, taking, taking frozen something. I had to pick that up tonight or early in the morning. Um, going to Cali. Going back to Cali. Cali. So I'm on my way to Cali. I pick it up tomorrow morning. I call tonight because it's usually this. I've been here before, and it's usually ready. And I got like three stops on this load, which is some good money. Um, because they, they pay like twenty something every stop, so that's good money. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, hopefully do the middle class next week. I think they got me rolling through the weekend. Thank you, Jesus. I hate looking at this batch. Um, yeah, so right now I'm in the truck. I went and had something to eat. Um, I don't have a microwave. I'm thinking about putting a microwave in here like D-Boy Stance did. She mounted it. If y'all, I'm going to need to put that video down below. She mounted it underneath the, it's, it's under the top bunk with <laughs> ratchet straps. I might do that. I have to see. And then, um, what I like about this truck, opposed, now I love a new truck because it had all that stuff on it. But to be honest, I rarely got to watch TV. Half time TV was watching me, I was asleep because I was running so hard. And two, I had my refrigerator that I like. There is a thermoelectric refrigerator um, that can be plugged into your 12 volt or your or regular standard plug. Um, they sell it with damn near things. I was like 300 bucks. I don't know. I might look at it. Uh, the cooler's okay. It keeps water and it'll keep us up for maybe two days. But that cooler don't get cold enough for that. Because what it does, the cooler keeps the temperature of the truck. Uh, it keeps the cooler 40 degrees below the ambient temperature. Um, and then right now they got a lot of these trucks, I guess, refrigerators. So now they're putting videos out telling people. Because they're too cheap on the fuel, right? And so they're putting the APU. But most of the trucks have the electronic APU unplug the refrigerator when you're not using a truck it usually is insulated enough so that you don't have to idle the truck y'all crazy as hell it's crazy as hell and that's why there's a shortage because you're cheap as hell and you're crazy as hell um raise the cross of what people are paying for freight so you can pay people to be human in the truck and drive the damn truck one of the top dangerous jobs and y'all y'all bs and trying to be cheap on freight <laughs> make them damn shippers pay that money okay um, anyway, yeah, so I got, I had to get another mattress. They got, there was a little mattress in here, but I'm going to get another mattress because that, I'm, I feel sorry for the student because that mattress is like this thin. So, I'm going to get a, get another mattress. I got a mattress from mine, but I put a whole bunch of stuff in mine and then I'm going to get a, a bed bug cover for that one because you also got to be careful with students. It's allergen proof, bed bug proof, and it's. The one I pick up is allergen, bed bug, and water resistant. So, if they have an accident, waste water, accidentally tinkle on themselves and they sleep, something weird like that, be sick, you don't ever know. It water, it, it's waterproof. It's also washable. So, and then I won't have to replace the mattresses as much. And then I just put a sheet over it and then they can lay their stuff over the top and then just have to wash the sheet. Um, I still got a little bit of stuff to do, but I pretty much organized everything. I'll give you all the tour of the organization. And I was trying to leave that top one. That there's a top thing. This you see in this one, but on the other side there's a top for the suit. Yeah, that didn't happen. I put my dirty clothes and cleaning supplies in there. But what we might do, I might open it up for the student, and we might have to put the cleaning supplies on the side in the side bin. But for now, and my dirty clothes can just go at the edge of the bed. So we'll see. I have to see. Um, but I'm rolling by myself right now, and then once I get the student on here, I got to type up the student rules. I'll, I'll share that with y'all later, too, when I start training. Because I do rules for my truck, and I'm going to do them in writing. And then I also want to put some uh, things in there to help them. So I'm going to talk to females about safety, males about safety and going to the bathroom. On the females and males about going to the bathroom on the truck. Um, females about going to the bathroom at night on the truck. The port -a john the port -a -loo, whatever they decide to do, the... You know, uh, to, to try to make sure they're okay and give them some suggestions, and then it's up to them what they do. Um, talk about the funnel and the cup for the ladies, for the boys, pee bottles. Y'all just swing into a pee bottle. 
y'all can get out the truck and just pee on the side, but also for safety reasons, I don't recommend it for even guys because the crazy ass people out here, some crazy people. For the most part, I've never been bothered, but there's crazy folks. I'm gonna put a link below. Uh, Laura put on the 411 site. Uh, there was a, a fire, a trailer fire in North Carolina. She put that up for us. So I'm gonna say this: Laura is our resident 411 news person. That that's your official. She's our admin news person. That is Laura's title for the 411. She's our admin news person. Y'all got any questions for her? Y'all shoot that through the 411. Sure, she's happy to answer. Um, her and DCI Jam puts up news too. DCI Jams, please try to log in to, to the YouTube 411. Please. I've been having to go and rip his videos whenever I have internet access, but I don't always have internet access, so I've been putting them up as I can, but we got to get him on that 411 YouTube. And I tried to do a step by step video, which hopefully he got. And so hopefully he'll be able to do his next uh, video. And we'll be talking about topics here soon, too. Um, check that out. D Boy Stance put up a video, when she, a home time video, which was cool on her own channel. She went to the Biltmore Estates. Y'all go check that out because it's really nice. We have Biltmore here. And back when I was working for Chase Bank, we actually, D-Boy Stance, if you watch this, we actually had our company party on the Biltmore Estates here in Arizona on the grounds. Gorgeous Biltmore. Um, back then, that was money. This was Chase Manhattan, not J.P. Morgan. It was Chase Manhattan. And uh, I was a dispute escalation supervisor back then. That's what my team did. So... Um, and that's really where I got most of my management training and then other places at. But they actually did Potenza. We were on the grass right outside of the Biltmore. Gorgeous. Girl, gorgeous. The food was good and drinks. Whatever drink she wanted. Me and a buddy of mine went. He had a good time. He's like, girl, any other time you want to go to a party, holler at your boy. So that he was like my brother back then. I've lost contact with him. But, oh, we had a good time. Um, he was like my, my Joe today, like Joe's my foodie husband, and this is my party husband. We used to go out and hang out, my boy Anthony. So, um, that's back in my youth. That's back in my 20s, y'all. Not today. I'm old now. Um, well, we got that on there. Also, um, there's some, I'm be talking about something. I want to go a little bit more on it. There's a new law that they've been talking about doing. Um, as far as some new rules for trucking where this one senator is trying to enact a law not to pay drivers during their rest breaks and some other things. Now that might not affect the OTR drivers but it will affect like your LTL drivers, your truckload drivers, um, which is kind of jacked up. Okay, this is a risky job and those people are doing a lot of city driving and things like that. Hell yeah, you need to pay them for whatever they can get paid for. Um, local driving don't always pay the most money. <clears throat> so, this guy trying to do this, I thought it was Shady McLaughlin. But, again, people that don't understand the industry are trying to help out the, the people in business and not really help the industry. You're really hurting an industry that's already hurting because of the driver shortage. I've also seen on a couple other groups, everybody's talking about the driver shortage right now. And there's a lot of people, that, oh, well, there ain't no driver shortage. That's a fear. There's a driver shortage. <laughs> Let me help you out. I'm going to help you. Anytime you have corporations offering sign-on bonuses for drivers, even starter companies that usually pay chump change, offering $3,000, $10,000, $15,000 sign-on bonuses, it is because there is a shortage and they're not getting people to come into the industry. They didn't just dig that out their butt. These companies are too cheap and too greedy to do that. The only reason they're doing it is because right now they're probably losing money because they cannot move the amount of freight that they normally would move because they do not have the drivers to do it. There is a driver shortage. The problem is people want to throw money at a situation and not really handle it fully the way it needs to be. Money is definitely a big part of the problem, but it is not the full problem. The problem is much bigger than just some money. Okay, the driver shortage is bigger than dollars. Okay, it is has to do with full range treatment. It has what I just went through just to get this tractor, and dealing with buttholes in the company, and people treating you like doo doo, and telling you to do stuff because they don't care. They're just in their little bubble. They're in their box. It has to do with that. You need to get new staff in the off. Either you get a new attitude or new staff. Top down. Top down. And you got to have a broader vision. You got to see that you're dealing with humans, not dogs. And my dog actually sometimes was treated better than what they treat some drivers. Let's just keep it real. So 
there is a shortage in the industry. People telling you there's not a shortage, they're on crack. There is a charge. There is a shortage. See what else I want to talk to you about. That's about it. I'm about to get in this bunk and pass the hell out. But I'm going to put the link below to that little fire. Oh, Laura also put up July is the Blitz. So if y'all guys, oh, if y'all don't know what the Blitz is, the Blitz. I've been through a Blitz back in 2011 when I was with Conway. I picked up a load, I think it was in Kansas. I came right out from the shipper, got on the freeway, and was directed right into the rest area where they're doing a blitz. Um, they really much just looked at my logs. They looked at the bill of lading. They walked around the truck, and then they let me go. But others, they pulled them over, and they were underneath their truck, and they were doing a full DOT inspection. So, the blitz is on in July, people. So make sure all your crap is right. Make sure your logs are up. Make sure you're pre-tripping your trucks. Um, and the blitz is all across the country. What that means is that you will get pulled in. And they're going to do a DOT colonoscopy and pap smear on your butt. And they're going to go rotor root that truck, rotor root your logs. They may even ask you questions. Oftentimes when I've been in California, I'm always asked air brake questions. Like PSI. Or I've even been told to do the air brake test for them. Demonstrate it. So you definitely need to be ready when they tell you to do that, okay? Uh, I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else, what else, what else. I'm trying to think what else, y'all. That's it. Laura put information up on the Blitz on the 411 channel. Um, if you guys go to Facebook, the link will be in the video below. But you can also search it out through the Trucker 411. DCI Jam has also added us to Rand. Something with Rand McNally. So we have, we have links on that as well. Um, but yeah, so when you see our videos, like individual as well as a 411, subscribe, forward it out to people, and let them know about us. Um, we appreciate you, and um, I'm happy I got oh man, I forgot your name, bro. You hit me up today, and I sent you a thank you for watching and be safe out there. I'll mention you in the next video, but I uh, actually had a gentleman who said the videos have really helped him, and that's that's my goal. I really and that's one of the things that I say, oh, that's what else I want to talk about. That's one of the things I say. I want us to be humble. I, the people I bring over to the 411 channel as host, and that we actually, now since it's a collab, any of the people we bring in, one of my main goals is that we stay humble and we don't get all cocky because I've seen some groups that I thought were phenomenal groups, and I've seen their, the people who started it become, to me, a little arrogant. Um, still some great old information under their channels, but I just really want that humility, that humbleness. So we try to do that. So we're happy we can help. Um, but the goal is really to help. It's to help you as best we can in the most humble way we can. Um, that's that's really the goal. Also, I've had a few people reach out to me in the background um, for the 411 channel. I have a video on here on how to apply. But let me just uh, specify this in that. When we look at your video, we're also going to go check your online social media presence. We need to. We like to see activity because it also tells us who you are. I'm not saying you gotta have five million YouTube videos. You might not be on YouTube, but you should have some activity on Facebook. If you don't have activity in either place, that doesn't make you comfortable for people to approach because what's happening in the background, Laura, DCI, D-Boy Stance, myself, we'll get questions. We wanna be approachable because our goal is to help you. If you have something where you're not having any content, it almost says, hey, I, I just wanna look. I don't wanna I don't want to participate. I don't want to comment. I comment on stuff. I comment on the stuff that's not even trucking. <clears throat> I have, and also, you know, I have a Christian channel, so I comment on stuff there too. But I comment on Christian stuff, non Christian stuff, trucking. I comment on a lot of stuff. So um, we want to see some presence. We want to see who you are. And because that really gives us a round fit for the channel. Um, you know, like D-Boy Stance. I went and I was watching the video that she did at the Biltmore. I was like, oh man, I've been to Biltmore here in Arizona. And that one was gorgeous. The architecture, everything. I enjoyed watching that. Um, you know, something to see that it's not just about the trucking life. There's other things too. So, you know, we try to introduce that. Like, I put up some stuff with me and Joe. Y'all know it's about food. So, we done been to a couple places. Some sushi. We went to Vietnamese. We went to the Spanish places. I'm, I'm going to put that picture up. I had to put it up at the end. Where I'm eating this corn. And it's all over my face. He took it for his nephew to show him where we were at. 
and they do this some Mexican corn they do with mayonnaise and some other stuff and hot sauce. Really good. Really, really good. So, you know, and we're just eating the corn. So, I mean, we just having a good time chilling. So, that's kind of what we're trying to show on the 411 channel. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all, two and two, be blessed. So, if you apply, if you apply, follow the video I put on there. It's in my links. It tells you how to apply. If you don't know, I can send you the link. But, yeah. So, two and two, like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it out to other people. Peace.